Today I'm going to show you how to put together an owner financed deal from start to finish. We're going to break down the whole thing as well as the profit and loss. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise and I am here to help you. I am here to help everyday people like you invest in real estate. Everyday people like my man Tim. What is up Tim? Today brother we are putting together a seller finance deal for you man. We are going to break down Everything on this deal, the location, the profit and loss, how we're going to structure the deal, the types of tenants we're going to put into it, the types of repairs this property is going to need. And then after it closes, Tim, my team will be your boots on the ground, brother. We do it all for you guys. Starts here with education and access to deals. Then we handle the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance, Landlord insurance anywhere in the state of Ohio. If you're watching this show on Holton Wise TV and you have a rental property in Ohio, hit my team up. Let us give you a no obligation quote. I can almost guarantee we can reduce your rate because all we do is help real estate investors, right? I don't insure your boat, your business, none of that, just your rental property. So I can almost guarantee we know more about the rental property market in Ohio than your current insurance agent, right? We do it all, folks, and today it's all about seller financing in the Cleveland market. But before we get into the details on that deal, I want to just let everybody else out there know, if you guys are looking for seller financing in markets outside of Cleveland, outside of Ohio, we have access to those for you, right? To do seller finance deals, you need to get in touch with motivated sellers. And if you want to get in touch with motivated sellers in any market in the USA, don't matter where it is right here prop stream i have a link a discount link for you guys in the show notes below what you're going to get if you click that a you're going to get a seven day free trial and b if you decide to continue with their system you will receive a discount but enough of that let's get into the specific property that we're going to sell or finance for you tim right after this hey steve what are you doing Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, get into the numbers, get into the meat of this deal, right? Seller financing, man. Seller financing is like the greatest thing you can get as a real estate investor, right? Financing in general is why real estate investing is so awesome, right? Residential financing is better than any other type of financing out there except seller financing, okay? Residential financing is so great because you can get 30-year terms, fixed interest, low interest, right? But the negative to residential financing is we're only allowed to get 10 of those mortgages, okay? So if we can only get 10 of those mortgages, we should be utilizing our first residential mortgage on our own home, right? Take care of home base first. After that, you get nine mortgages. After that, though, you cannot get these beautiful 30-year terms, which leads me to why seller financing is so awesome. With seller financing, it's like free money, it doesn't go against those 10. So theoretically, you can get as many seller finance mortgages as you can put together, right? Myself, I have millions of dollars of seller finance mortgages. And I do that, again, by reaching out to sellers directly. Guys, click the link below for the prop stream software. It allows you to reach out to sellers in any market, okay? We got a free seven-day trial for you. Then we got a discount code. As far as putting this deal together, right? 137 Lincoln, 137 Lincoln, Elyria, 44035. It's been on the market uh, for almost 60 days. It was under contract, then it fell out of contract. The seller is asking 84900 Now, here's the deal. We're putting together a seller finance deal. If you really want to put together a seller finance deal, the biggest thing you got to do, right, is make it a win-win. 
We understand as buyers, as investors, we get why the seller finance deal is so great for us, right? Again, it's free money. You can get as much of this as you can convince sellers to do it for you, right? And you can do it outside of your traditional terms, right? You could try to work out deals where you get a lower uh, down payment, lower interest, this or that. It's you. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want so long as you get the seller to accept, right? And that's the thing. There's a lot of gurus out there selling you guys courses and education about how to do seller finance deals. And you know who they're always geared towards? Buyers. They're never geared towards the seller because the buyer, right? We get really the best of the situation with the seller finance deal. It's not always in the best interest of the seller to finance it. As a matter of fact, it's almost always not in their best interest to finance it, right? But sometimes sellers opt to do that, right? And one of the reasons, and this is where you got to work as a buyer, one of the reasons they do that, okay, is because they can get a little bit more than their property is actually worth, right? If you do it in a normal arm's length transaction, they sell to somebody with bank financing, that great 30-year financing, or with cash, they're going to have to take market rate. If they want to seller finance it, though, allows them to make a little bit more. So you got to create a win-win scenario, okay? Now, with this particular property, first of all, I love Elyria, C-grade neighborhood. We have a ton of rentals. It's awesome. What this seller did is they pretty much renovated the whole house, but, like, not to a high standard, just to, like, a rental property standard. Everything looks good, and the seller probably believes it's rent ready. But you see this kitchen? I don't like it. Okay, look at this kitchen. That is straight out of, like, the 70s, the 80s. Bathroom, though? Looks awesome, okay? Uh, except for this bathroom. The other bathroom looked awesome. This one doesn't, right? Look here. There's vanity and stuff right from the 90s, okay? Everything else, though, looks great. It's good. Nothing to worry about except for those two rooms. But remember, kitchens and baths sell homes. Kitchens and baths rent homes, which, by the way, why I'm in the basement, this looks like it's probably five or so years old. This is probably around 10 years old. Furnaces last 30 years, cost about three Gs. Hot water tanks last about 15 years, cost about a G, just so you're aware. So your big ticket items are taken care of. House looks good. Seller thinks they have a, a, a turnkey house. Okay, that's what the seller believes, but we don't. Okay, look at this kitchen. Now, this house turnkey, my opinion, probably worth like 80. 80 grand is what I believe this house is worth turnkey, but it's not turnkey because you got the kitchen and the bath. Two rooms, but Two most important rooms. I think what we need to do is put about $15,000 into this deal, okay? $15,000 into this deal. Make the kitchen and bath amazing for Section 8 tenants. You do that, you'll be able to get a Section 8 tenant paying 1000 It's twelve k a year after fixed and variable expense estimates. You're looking at a clear NOI of around $6,000 a year, okay? Now, as far as price goes... Even though, even though a turnkey house in Illyria like this would be worth about 80 and even though this one is about $15,000 away from 80 I want you to offer 85 100 bucks more than the seller's asking. That's going to put your all-in investment at hundred grand. you got to create a win-win or the seller's not going to be open to dealing, right? You could either win on price or you could win on terms. We're trying to win on terms here, right? If the seller wanted to sell this at its pure market value, which turnkey would be 80, so it's at least 15 less than that. It's like 65, I suppose, right? Um, they could, right? But they're trying to extract more value. So let's give them that value, let them get the W, but we get the long-term W, which is the financing, because this is free financing. You're getting the seller to give you a big old loan you couldn't otherwise got, right? So here is how it would play out. If we can convince the seller to take 85, we'll give them a 10% down payment, have them finance the rest of it for 30 years at 3%, right? Then we put 15 into it. That means we're only giving the seller eight and a half up front, then 15 in our repairs. So our all in cost is 23 and a half. Then we get the seller to give us 76,500 as a loan. That's a loan that doesn't count towards your 10 residential mortgages, right? That's free freaking money that we're having the Section 8 tenant pay. So for our $100,000 investment, that results in a 6-1 cap and a 9.4% cash on cash return, right? That's like 9.4% cash on cash return. You're creating something out of nothing here, right? You overpaid a little bit. But you got a free $76,000 loan, right? 
if you had to burn one of your 10 mortgages, I would say you don't want to overpay like that, right? But now you still have those 10 left. This is a freebie. And that, that's how you put together a seller finance deal. You have to give the seller a W. If the seller doesn't get a W, you ain't going to get your W. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.